Kumusta mga subscribers? Right now, what we're going to do is to connect two PS3 controllers to a single Bluetooth dongle. If you want to buy this, I've provided links in the description. Just check it out. To demonstrate this, we need two Bluetooth game controllers and this one uh, is a generic ps3 controller and also we have we need this bluetooth dongle and data cable okay let's start first of all we need the scp toolkit link in the description you need to download it I've already downloaded this and uh, installed it so we're just gonna click on it click install now let's get our data cable make sure guys that you buy the data cable and not the charging cable And also it should be a mini USB to fit in this controller. Let's insert the dongle. As you can see, there's a light so we can uh, determine if uh, it is functioning. Let's look for the Bluetooth dongle that we inserted. Click it. Also for the controller. Let's look for it and uh, click the appropriate controller. Now let's uninstall so that uh, we can uh, put up a fresh install. Now let's remove this and let's put it in the other controller. Let's close the driver toolkit. Okay, let's just repeat the process. Click on the installer and then click on the appropriate Bluetooth dongle and controller. Uninstall. let's close it okay now we open it again now this time we are now going to install it install the driver okay same process select the USB dongle and then uh, the appropriate controller is still PS3 okay and then install Let's wait for a few seconds. Now without closing the program, replace this controller with the second controller. You can actually connect up to four controllers guys. Okay, You can just uh, repeat the process up to the fourth controller. Okay, same process, Bluetooth dongle and the controller, click install. Let's just wait a few seconds. Okay, we're done. Installation complete. Now it's time to test the controller if the Bluetooth connection, wireless connection is uh, functioning properly. Let's try my favorite Dreamcast games via the ReDream emulator. By the way, there's a link in the description. Now, in this case, guys, the LED corresponds to the player number. Just direct the emulator to the ROMs folder of your Dreamcast games. Maybe three games will do. Let's try a fighting game. Capcom vs SNK Millennium Fight 2000. 
and then the same. Let's try arcade mode, player one. go with I think Yuri and then let's go with maybe Raiden I like Raiden Let's test first the analog stick, okay? Up, down, left, left, right, take kick, punch, okay, let's go. I think this is okay. Not bad for a generic controller, very cheap controller. Even the analog stick, and the buttons, there's no lag. There you go. Let's try player two. Okay, there you go. Number two led turned on. Click on player two. There you go. Just select some players. Let's select this and maybe strike coming of Capcom Street Fighter normal. By the way, the guys, the blue controller is my player too, but it doesn't mean that this is already the fixed player too. You can switch the player 1 and player 2 controllers depending on which one you turned on first. Okay? I'm now using player 2 with this. Okay, and the controls. Seems fine to me. There we go. And let's try player one, Yori. Let's try some moves that I've been during the fall but seems I already forgot the combination. There you go. By the way you can skip these guys or maybe stick around for a bit for a functionality test of these controllers. I just wanna play these games because I've been playing this when I was a kid and I really love this game. Okay, next. Why don't we try... Let's try Soul Calibur. I'm sure if you're a 90s kid, you are very familiar with these games that I've been showing you. and why don't we try Mitsurugi Fight. 
Kick. Punch. Spin. I used to play this character Mitsurugi but I'm afraid I've already gotten this game Let's try the player 2 So also my other character is Nightmare Get up Let's try a racing game, Daytona. By the way guys, you can add up, up to 4 controllers with one Bluetooth dangle. Okay, for games that require 4 players. Like Warriors of Fate or Captain Commando. Okay, here we go. Oops. Ooh. Sorry. By the way guys, I'm also a gamer and um, I will be uploading more videos for retro games from maybe Raspberry Pi, uh, Orange Pi and basically all about the video games. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you like this, these videos and keep safe and thank you for your time. See you next time.